Yo, Ash, you're a loser. I bet I've dated 20 times as many people as you have. Huh? Yeah? Well, 20 times zero equals zero. High five, man. So this week we're talking about sexual orientation and dating as a trans person and all that fun stuff. I can already tell this video is gonna be pretty short. But uh, first of all, just a little update on tea. I haven't started yet. I'm filming this on Wednesday, January 31st at 8 a.m. And I could have started tea last Friday, so um, five days ago. But I was kind of stressed out about it and I decided to start today instead. So I have my shot in two hours. And um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you that it's okay to doubt. Uh, tea is something that I've wanted for more than a year and suddenly having the prescription and everything it, it felt like a lot so I took a few days to think about it and now I know that I'm ready on to today's topic now um, my sexual orientation so I started questioning and I realized I liked girls when I was 13 um, I didn't know I was trans yet and uh, between the ages of 13 and 15 I kind of fluctuated between the labels gay and bi I didn't really feel attracted to guys, but I didn't really rule it out either. When I turned 15, I started questioning my gender identity and I started identifying as non-binary. And um, as the month went by, I started identifying closer and closer to the male end of the spectrum. During that period, I thought I was only attracted to girls. But then when I came out as trans uh, and when I told people to use masculine pronouns and to call me Sasha, that changed. And I think that's because before I was out, even though I had short hair and looked uh, rather androgynous, people perceived me as a girl. And imagining myself being a girl in a relationship with a boy made me feel extremely dysphoric because I would then be seen as, yeah, the the girl in the relationship and I didn't want that because I knew I wasn't a girl. But then when I came out as trans masculine, um, I became feeling more comfortable uh, in my body and in who I was. And so I realized I identified as bi. I'd love to date a girl or a guy or a non-binary person or anything else. And now I feel comfortable uh, about all of that. Now let's talk about my experience with dating. I have dated zero people in my 18 years of existence on this planet and that's something that I'm super self-conscious about and it makes me kind of sad but mm, it happens and you shouldn't feel bad if you haven't dated anyone because you're gonna end up meeting the right one at some point blah blah blah. Last year I did have a sort of thing with a girl but it was super weird and we both had really bad anxiety and basically for three whole months we knew we liked each other and we told each other that we wanted to date but we didn't do anything and then at one point we just stopped speaking to each other because of stupid stuff and then she started dating a guy like less than two months after we stopped talking so yeah that was fun but I'm cool now uh, yeah the only thing is that I'm still single so you know you can hit me up if you feel like dating this pretty face ha huh? i'm just kidding in that relationship that didn't work out with the girl she knew i was non-binary and she had no problem with it so uh, me being trans was no problem at all and now i think that starting tea isn't gonna be a problem either it's gonna be quite helpful because right now i'm not on tea and it's kind of better now that i've got my binder and that I'm on antidepressants etc but uh, I used to feel really really bad about my body and I had really bad anxiety which is still here but a bit less and I feel like hormones can only make me feel more confident about myself so that shouldn't be a problem and as Andrea and Aristotle both said in their videos this week being trans shouldn't really be a problem either because I wouldn't want to date a person who's transphobic anyways. I hope my love life is only gonna improve from now on, but I guess we'll see about that. That's all I had to say this week. Peace out.